Why I Hate Fortune Tellers by It's Time Ladies. Oh my gosh, look! Lydia exclaimed, running out into the crowded fairground. I couldn't tell what she was pointing out until I caught up with her, but it just turned out to be one of those old fortune teller machines with an animatronic old woman sitting inside. Underneath was a sign reading, Madame Fortuna, Mistress of Fate. I love these things! She exclaimed to me, fished out 50 cents from her purse. When she turned her back on me to put them into the slot, I rolled my eyes. She'd mentioned in her dating profile that she was into spiritual stuff, psychics, horoscopes, and such, but I didn't think she'd fall for something this dumb. Yet, she pressed the receive button on the machine and looked genuinely excited when the animatronic came to life, turning its head upward and opening its mouth, making an unnervingly raspy moan as its crystal ball lit up, before all the lights in the machine abruptly turned off and a small card was spat out, which she then snatched up. You will soon be graced by divine luck, she read out. That's so exciting! I scoffed, but if she heard, she didn't react, instead looking up at me expectantly. Okay, now you take one! Aw, come on, babe, I began as I put my arm around her. Why don't I use the money to treat you to a drink at the beer tent instead? But she was unrelenting. Please, she begged. It'll be fun. Don't you want to know what fate has in store for you? I groaned inwardly, but since I still wanted her happy enough to agree to come to my place after the date, I gave in. Fine, I mumbled, grabbing two quarters out of my pocket, causing her to squeal in excitement. After putting them into the machine, I was once again treated to the machine's creepy animation and... Like last time, it spat out a card after its lights went out. Want to read it together? I asked Lydia as I pulled it out, and she reacted like a kid on Christmas morning, running up and grabbing onto my waist as she read. I smirked. For as dumb as I thought this was, it seemed to have paid off. My happiness didn't last long, however. Looking down at the card, my eyes widened as the blood drained from my face. The flowery text printed on the card read out, The police found the bodies. Run. After I read it, I felt Lydia let go of me, and before I could catch her, she had already gotten lost in the crowd. Before I could chase her, I heard a faint sound in the distance that stopped me. Police sirens. I turned to run, but as I did, I saw something that made me freeze in fear. The lights in the machine were back on, and the hag's face had changed. She was now staring right at me with a wide, cruel grin.